can't. She's muted. From her side. I am muted, but I can't see you. Can anybody else see? We can see ourselves. Can Dougie see us? Or is he? Not see you. Said JB still seeing this for presser. Just want to confirm we shouldn't see a picture. It just says you live view AD2. She just saw me two seconds ago. Wouldn't happen on Zoom. That's impossible. <laughs> Let me turn the camera on and off. Here you go. We're good. Got it. Good? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Perfect. All right. Well, we will try and get this started. Patrick, congratulations. We'd like to welcome our 2021 BMW Championship winner to the virtual interview room here. Patrick, what a long day for you to get your fifth PGA Tour title. You've become the first three-time winner of the season and moved to number one in FedEx Cup. How are you feeling after a marathon day of golf for your fifth career win? I'm a little tired, but, uh, you know, very, very happy. I mean, I played really well all week. Um, you know, at the beginning of the week, I didn't realize it would take that many under par to just force a playoff. But um, I hit, you know, a lot of good shots today, and it was just enough. media on the line if you'd like to take yourself off uh, video and mute uh, when it's your turn. We'll start with Doug Ferguson. Doug? Patrick, a uh, pretty good show today. Well done. Thank you. Just curious, uh, was there ever a moment that you thought uh, you weren't going to win? Uh, and if not, why not? Uh, I liked Bryson's chances of making that six or eight footer up the hill or whatever it was. And yeah, I thought he was going to make that uh, putt. Um, I was maybe the only time that, you know, I, I really thought I was done. Um, but, you know, he didn't make it. That's golf. So um, I played really well and just tried to focus on the task at hand all day. Um, even, you know, some of the bad shots I've hit, I hit today just tried to reset and, and take it fresh from there. Secondly, uh, had you heard Patty Ice before? And is that going to be a hard nickname to live up to? I don't know. That's the first time I heard it. Uh, but I got I got it all week. Uh, I think there was maybe one or two guys that followed me around maybe all four days, and they just every hole screaming it. Uh, these were uh, some of the most supportive, uh, loudest fans um, I've ever I've ever experienced. Well done. All right. Next, we'll go to Jerry Coleman in Baltimore, one hundred five seven. The fan, uh, Jerry. Go ahead. Patrick, uh, congratulations. And about the uh, the Caves Valley experience, uh, your thoughts on that and the way the course played throughout the, uh, not only the four rounds, but also the extra hole. Yeah, I thought the course was great theater, obviously. Um, lots of birdies and a great finishing hole. Um, it was easy. I knew it was going to play easy and uh, you were going to need to make a lot of birdies when I was playing the practice round. I, I mentioned to the guys it's going to be well into the 20s. Um, and that's just mostly to do with it being as soft as it was. I think this golf course would be very different if it was firm. Um, but it's wide and, and there's not a ton of trouble, so it was a birdie fest out there and it felt like your foot was on the gas from the, the word go. Was there uh, something going on between you and Bryson? Uh, the commentators were talking about an exchange that happened on 14. Uh, he just wanted me to stop walking. Uh, we had just been told by the rules officials to kind of speed up, and um, I'm not always the fastest walker, so I was trying to get, get ahead and do my part. Um, 
No big deal. That, that stuff kind of happens uh, every once in a while out here. Next question, we're going to go to Steve DiMeglio, USA Today. Steve? Patrick, do you realize how good you putted this week? <laughs> Your strokes gained, I guess, is the greatest mark ever since they started tracking in 2004. What, did it beat uh, Kevin Na when he beat me and it seemed like he was making everything on the, on the planet? <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, it did. You <laughs> have the highest mark, I think, in regulation 72 holes, 14.5. Eight or seven, eight shots you picked up on the field. Good, a little redemption then. How good did it feel that putter in your hand all week? Yeah, it felt great. I actually switched uh, to that putter through two rounds last week. Uh, so I think I took it out on Saturday last week. Uh, and I have been working with the guys over at Scotty Cameron uh, all year since I got into this new putter um, around maybe Wells Fargo was the first week I put this model in and uh, finally have one that feels absolutely perfect and I can't thank those guys over at Scotty Cameron, uh, Paul Vazanko and Jose enough. They just uh, they sent me a ton of putters and uh, I got the magic one now. What kind of model is it? I think it's a Phantom X5. Um, I think that's what they call it. And last question, what was the best putt you hit all day or, and the most meaningful? You know, I think the bogey save on 17 was a tricky little putt. Um, and obviously not the way I wanted to play that hole, but that kept me in the golf tournament. And it was a, it was a tricky putt. And, you know, saving, saving just a bogey there and keeping me one, just one shot going into 18, that was, a, that was a really big putt. And then obviously, you know, the one, the one on 18 in regulation, um, you know, uh, but they all mattered. They all mattered, I guess, the same. I need it all. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Patty. I... <laughs> Next, we'll go to Ben Everill, PGATour.com. Ben? Thanks, mate. Well done. Um, look, you, you haven't had the, the greatest of results at East Lake so far, but you start there next week, 10 under it with the lead and that big advantage. Um, how does it shape up for you, given that's the case? I think just trying to reset and play the, the golf tournament like any other golf tournament, just trying to put a bunch of rounds in the 60s on the board. Um, it's a really good golf course. Um, it's usually in fantastic shape. Those guys down there always uh, bring their A game when it comes to course conditions. And um, it's a golf course that I actually like. I haven't played that well there in the past, that's true. But, um, you know, it's a golf course I like. I like the, the visuals out there. And I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, having a better result this year. What we have to do, I guess, better than you had in those other three times to, to have those better scores you need. I think driving the ball in the fairway there is very important with the Bermuda rough. And uh, in the past, we've had it firm, so that um, you know highlights putting the ball in the fairway even a little more. And uh, I think staying below the hole there is actually very important. I think the greens have lots of uh, lots of pitch, usually back to front, and the greens are very fast. So as many uphill putts as you can get then you really have some chances at making some. Well done, mate. Good work today and good luck next week. Thank you. All right, next we'll go to Brentley Romine with Golf Channel. Brentley. Patrick, you're uh, three wins this season. You know, Zozo, you beat JT and John Rahm. You beat Morikawa at, at Memorial. Now you take down Bryson uh, here. What What's inside of you and what allows you to be able to the biggest moments go up against the best of your peers and get the job done? I think a lot of determination and a lot of, uh, a lot of focus. And um, I'm as focused as I can be on every single shot. And I try not to let my mind get past the moment that I'm in. Um, and maybe that's why I come across a little sedated out there. Um, but I'm, I'm locked in and I'm as focused as I can be. And then I kind of let the chips fall where they do. Uh, I try not to get caught up in being drought driven 45 yards or whatever it is. Um, and I just try and lock in and do my absolute best in that moment. And, um, you know, my best is pretty good. And uh, secondly, uh, if I could follow up, just talk about, I think this pretty much solidifies your spot on the Ryder Cup team. How stoked are you to get you know, over to Whistling Straits and compete for the first 
Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, you know, Fred Couples texted me this week, said uh, it looks like he's going to be one of the assistant captains, um, and so he'll be up there. And uh, I've been talking with Xander, obviously, uh, and JT and Jordan, and we're really looking forward to it. Um, it's nice to, uh, you know, get in on points. I think that's the case. And I'm really looking forward to that whole event. I've heard so much about it and watched it growing up. And so, I mean, I'm sure it will be everything, everything I've imagined and more. And um, I will uh, lock in there and, and hopefully we'll get a victory. Thanks, Patrick. Thank you. Ferguson, Doug. Pat, I just had a couple of little looks for you. Um, I, I thought I noticed a, a line on your on your ball for putting. Is that new? That's new, and I, I use it on shorter putts uh, if they don't have very much break. Uh, I thought it just maybe got me a little more specific on on the really straight short putts, and I don't use it um, on very many putts. But I think it's helping a little bit on you know three to five footers. Okay. Uh, another thing, uh, just being observant as you are, did you happen to notice Bryson tipping his cap in the gallery walking up 18 regulation? No. No, I okay. uh, didn't notice that. Okay. And then lastly, and you make a good point about his, his six-footer in the, I forgot what playoff the hole was, but, but, you know, looking like it might be over. But, but what about uh, being one shot behind and seeing the ball go in the water on 17? Was that not, uh, what was going through your mind there at that point? Yeah, I was obviously very disappointed. Um, I think I misjudged the wind a little bit and then didn't catch all of the golf ball. I caught it pretty good, but I didn't catch all of the golf ball. And uh, it wasn't a great shot, especially in that moment. But pretty soon I got to thinking, you know, let's try and make four here and at least, uh, you know, at least not take all the pressure off of him. And uh, we, tra you know, we both had fours on that hole. And and that really kept me in the golf tournament, kind of switched the momentum a little bit. It, it would have been, you know, almost insurmountable uh, going if I would have went down two going into 18. And then lastly, what, what did he uh, say to you when you, when you won? Because he didn't talk to us, just curious. <laughs> he hasn't been talking to you guys for a while. Um, Sorry about that. Um, he just, I think he just said, uh, you know, congrats, nice plan. And I said the same, you know, um, I, he played great all week. We traded blows pretty much all day. And uh, he really did put on an exhibition with the driver. And, and lastly, and I swear I'll hang up after this, but, but is there any part of you that's, that's wondering if there's a BMW jinx on you considering what happened two years ago at Medina? Not, at, <laughs> yeah. second? Not anymore. I did have uh, some of those thoughts. I was talking with Revy about it. Um, wow. I mean, there's just... just <laughs> been some really low scores. I mean, I didn't think uh, it would even get into the 20s at Medina. I had a hunch about this week, but I mean, I don't know what we were, 26, 27 under? That's, that's, yeah. that's, that's a lot. All right, thanks, Matt. Thanks. All right, Patrick, again, thank you for joining us. Congratulations and best of luck next week. Thanks, Amanda. Uh huh. No, no, no. I'm ready. Good evening, and welcome to the Green Coat Gala. As the winner of the 2021 BMW Championship, I'm honored to see my name on the J.K. Wadley Trophy alongside so many of golf's legendary champions. This championship is special because of what it means to so many hardworking youth caddies and their families. Your support of the Evans Scholars Foundation is changing the lives of young men and women nationwide, enabling them to realize their dreams of a college education. Thank you for making a difference. I hope you have a wonderful evening. He's good, he's good. Yep, all good. All right. One take. One, one take. Yeah, that's, that's how we do All it. right. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. A couple things for you to sign out here. Congrats again.